Hey folks, this is Riker, bringing you a guide on how every class can prepare for the upcoming patch 2.2 in Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. Patch 2.2 is all about bringing in new and improved sets. And while changes to legendary items are not retroactive, changes to set bonuses are. That means that when patch 2.2 goes live, if you already had, say, a Skull Grasp ring, then the patch will not give it the new power that buffs Whirlwind. However, once you do find a new Skull Grasp, it will roll with that power. With set items, though, if 2.2 is changing the way a set works, then these changes will apply to set items you already have. So the brunt of the focus of your prep work will involve farming set pieces of some specific sets that are already in the game, but are receiving tremendous buffs in 2.2. And of course, you will ideally want to get ancient versions of every item and set we will go through. Now first off, a note to anyone who has been so unlucky as to have never found a legendary potion, regular health potions are being removed from the game, so don't bother stocking up on buying 5,000 of them. The health potion, the regular health potion, is just being changed into a cooldown power similar to a legendary potion, just without the additional effect. Alright, we'll now run through every class, starting with Barbarian, Crusader, Demon Hunter, Monk, Witch Doctor, and Wizard, so feel free to fast forward to the class that applies to you. One thing to note, the patch has not yet been finalized, changes can still come, but this advice is based on the way things are looking now, and given we're only about a week or two away from patch release, we likely won't be seeing huge changes. First up, the 2.2 Barbarian is all about Whirlwind, so start stacking up on gear that adds to your Whirlwind damage. Right now it's looking like physical damage will be the preferred element, so if you already have a Raker Barb, you should be able to transfer over that plus physical gear. And the IK set, the Immortal King set, is seeing a tremendous buff, so start stacking up on IK set items. The Bolkatho set, those two one-handed barbarian weapons, have also seen big changes, big buffs, but they're still not looking like best in slot for Greater Rift pushing. However, it's still worth holding on to them if you find them, because we don't yet know how things will change. Get yourself a good Lamentation belt if you can. That's the belt that makes Rend stack twice, because the new Wrath of the Waste set plays with your Rend skill, and that may make its way into the new meta. A mixture of IK, and the new set may be what the new endgame barbarian is all about. Other ways to prepare include leveling up your legendary gems. You're gonna want Pain Enhancer, again because of that physical damage, Taeguk because the whirlwind ticks really often, and of course, as a melee character, Bane of the Trapped, because the level 25 unlock will ensure everything you're hitting is getting affected by the enhanced damage. On to Crusader. The 2.2 Crusader is all about Roland set and Shield Bash. Rollins has seen tremendous buffs, and the set revolves around Shield Bash and Sweep Attack. Unfortunately, Sweep Attack is still underperforming, so you want to be focusing on getting plus Shield Bash gear. Of course, collecting your Rollins set, you want to start getting a really good Pyro Manella Shield, because that legendary power is indispensable to your Shield Bash build. You'll want to get Focus and Restraint Rings, because the Bastion of Will set has been buffed, and while it's seen a number of tuning passes that have reduced its once overpowered nature within the patch, the set may still remain part of the meta. The punish skill is seeing a buff, the proc coefficient on the runes has been increased, so this may make its way into the meta, and to prepare for that you want to get yourself an angel hair braid, which grants punish the effect of every rune. Now it's looking like the best rune for shield bash may be the fire rune, that makes it much more of a AoE attack. There was some competition with the physical rune, that hits harder against single targets, but in Diablo 3 area damage has always won out over single target damage. It's not clear exactly which supplemental items will make their way into this build, but you can start getting a Cinder Coat and Mage Fist Gauntlets, because some variants of this build actually only use the 4-piece Rollins bonus, rather than the full 6-piece. Legendary gems you should look into leveling include Bane of the Trapped, which will always be granting you additional damage, then Esoteric Alteration and Molten Wildebeest's Gizzard will help you with survivability, and even the Gogok of Swiftness could be useful. Onto the Demon Hunter. The 2.2 Demon Hunter has seen some tremendous buffs to the Natalia set, and Reign of Vengeance, the skill that the set is built around. So start collecting your Natalia set, get a hold of some Focus and Restraint Rings, which may make their way into the build. Since you'll be probably using Natalia's crossbow, get yourself another really good one-handed crossbow, preferably a Calamity. Get yourself some plus Cold Gear, 
which you probably already have, as it's looking like cold will remain one of the dominant elements for Demon Hunter. Hexing pants of Mr. Yan may also make their way into the build, and as for gems, you can start working on your Taeguk, Bane of the Trapped, Molten Wildebeest Gizzard, Gogok of Swiftness, and Esoteric Alteration. These are all being used by the top leaderboard demon hunters on PTR. On to the Monk. 2.2 seems to be all about the Ping Pong Monk. We're talking about the revised Raiment of a Thousand Storm set. So start collecting those gear pieces. Also, it's looking like cold will be the element of the month for the monk. So start getting cold gear. Some of you may be happy to note that the flying dragon is back as a best in slot weapon. This monk does benefit from that increased attack speed. You'll also want to get those focus and restraint rings as well as items that buff your dashing strike damage. The Inna set is also seeing some revisions that are buffing it, so it's not a bad idea to start collecting Inna's pieces. However, right now, the leaderboards are being topped by the Ping Pong Monk. The top gems we're seeing on the leaderboard are Esoteric Alteration, Gogok of Swiftness, Bane of the Trapped, Moratorium, and Molten Wildebeest's Gizzard, so you can focus on leveling those up. Onto the Witch Doctor, we are seeing a huge shift away from Jade Docks and toward Pet Docks, specifically the Darts build. Buffs to Fetish Army damage, as well as prop coefficient buffs on the Fetish Sycophants, as well as changes to the Zuni Maza set, has seen Witch Doctors that rely on Fetishes rise tremendously in power, and a nerf to the way the cooldown on Spirit Walk operates has been a tremendous hit to the survivability of Jade Docks, so if you're a Witch Doctor, you should really start looking into building a Dart Dock. Collect your Zuni Mazi set pieces, collect gear that adds poison damage, Try to find a Dagger of Darts and a Carnival, which I know that's no easy feat. You'll also want a Witching Hour Belt, as well as Augild Shoulders and Bracers. And the gems that you should look into leveling that are being used by the top PTR leaderboard players are the Gogok of Swiftness, Enforcer, Simplicity Strength, and Bane of the Trapped, with those first three being preferred over the last. Lastly, onto the Wizard. The 2.2 Wizard is all about the Tal Rasha set and the massive meteor impacts that it's going to cause. So start farming up pieces for your Tal Rashas. As a Wizard, you already have Fire Gear, and you're actually going to want to hold on to that. While the new Wizard can benefit from a number of different elements, and in fact revolves around casting a bunch of different elements, Fire is the element that is easiest to gear for. So, for some supplementary gear that you might want to look into, we've got the Cinder Coat, we've got Hexing Pants of Mr. Yan, we've got the Ether Walker, which is great for running bounties, we've got the Focus and Restraint Rings that again are being buffed, and of course you'll want to look into getting plus Meteor Damage items. Gems being used by the top leaderboard players that you may want to level include Zay Stone of Vengeance, the Gem of Efficacious Toxin, Bane of the Trapped, as well as for survivability, Esoteric Alteration, and Molten Wildebeest's Gizzard. That wraps up this guide. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment letting me know what class you plan to play in 2.2 and Season 3. Check out these other videos. And if you enjoyed this one, share it with friends, leave a comment, hit like, and subscribe to join Rikers Raiders.